quite a, a common question I get asked is uh, how do I get out of playing, you know, within one area on the neck of the guitar, or I've got a scale and I don't know basically how to break break out of that pattern. Uh, this little concept that I use works great. Uh, very very simple thing to do. Just take one note from the scale and move it to a different. Uh, part on uh, move it to a different place on the fretboard, different string, different fret. For instance, if I, I use a uh, e pentatonic minor scale. So, so those notes are on the A string, or start on the A string, seven ten, then on the D string, seven nine, and on the uh, G string. Seven nine. Now, uh, that's that's a, a good pattern. But what I might do is instead of playing the, the G note here, which is on A ten, I might move it to D five. So it's a, it's the same note, but we've moved it to a different place or a different part of the of the fret board. So. It allows you to, to start expand your movement around the fret, uh, around the fretboard, but without getting it too complicated or getting lost. And you just take one note, but then you start practicing that. Uh, so you might run up one version of the scale and down the other version. And all we've done is we've moved that the G note. Again, I might go up. The other way, and back, the other direction, and that just helps to uh, open up the the fretboard a bit more. And obviously, you can do that over octaves. Uh, take this version of the same same scale, different octave. So that's uh, G nine twelve. B ten twelve, E ten twelve. But I might move the G note again, uh, which is on G twelve. I might move it to uh, B eight. So it, it just enables you to start moving around the fretboard a bit more, getting outside of the pattern uh, but obviously not doing too much as you get lost with it. It's just a great way to help develop confidence and, your, and uh, you, you know build up your ability to move around, around the fretboard.